Hi. Hello and welcome to the last episode of It's Say. I felt that it would only... Sorry. The last episode of It's Say. I felt that in this video, it would only be right to do my first outro in the entire series. Wait. Mm. I felt that it was only right that in the last episode is when I do my first intro for the entire series. So here it is. And I'm also glad that people recommended this to me nonstop and that I got to see it because... Just like how I feel about Cherry Magic, I'm so glad I saw this show. Leia, let's chit chat for a bit before I get into this. I heard about the second season that they've replaced the director and one of the writers was also actually made out to be a cast now. With this knowledge in mind, I am still excited to see the series and I don't know. I just missed these two already. I've already seen the last episode actually. This isn't going to be a first time reaction. I, I, I do have the first time reaction one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. After re-watching 1 through 4, I realized that I have a lot more to say and I thought it would make for a more entertaining, cohesive video if I were to just redo episode 5. Um, also because I have different opinions now. I thought that maybe there were other things that are much more worth saying for episode 5. And that's why I would rather do a reshoot. Especially because, you know, I've been shooting all day yesterday. All I did yesterday was like film. I have so much content coming out and I'm extremely excited for the rest of that but yeah before starting this i just want to say thank you and i hope that you guys don't stop recommending shows to me because these new shows that i've consumed and ended up loving a prime example would be it's a and cherry mahu i ended up really liking these shows unexpectedly choho mucho this is for the extra extra emergency so just to be clear before we start i've only seen episode five once Okay, once. And that was the first time I watched it. I haven't seen it again since. I also haven't seen the documentary yet. Aww. I'm glad, by the way, that we didn't end with to be sad. Because it's just how we started and middled. But it's not how we ended. And that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, also, it has been explained to me that O'eo is the name of the dessert. A famous dessert in Phuket. So that's why there's always that dessert emoji next to his name because he is named after the shaved ice dessert that is sweet and white and pure. What? What are you doing? Dawn. Oh no. No, it would be so good to look back. <gasps> wow. He's really serious about this. Two things I kind of got from this. Okay, number one, I guess it makes sense to delete the chat history because you're trying to not obsess over it. You're trying to forget about this person, move on. And you know how we are. It's so easy to backslide when you have that chat history because you're scrolling through and you're living in the past, kind of like the grain from that one Black Mirror episode. Number two, I think it could also represent a fresh start because Thea is now going through this thing. I think in his mind, the motivation right now and what's driving him is to move on from Oyo. I think how this is going to help him eventually is just to give him a fresh start because a lot of what their conversations were beforehand were very much closeted. And he's going through a metamorphosis right now. He's in his cocoon, you know, he's cooking up. Can I get a cat cover of this? A shiny cat cover? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, he just, oh, I know what he did. See, I didn't. I didn't realize this in the beginning. They were both deleting each other. On the other hand, you have Oh Eo. It's like using the flashcards and hoping to use them for the last time. Yeah, because like at the end of the day, no matter what you delete physically, you can't delete memories. Unless you eternal sunshine that shit. The FBI though will still have a copy of that, so... <laughs> Joke Nothing is lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Okay, there are things that I've already forgotten that are hitting me out of nowhere. Leftovers from the party. Okay, bitch, you know what I got? I got leftovers from our childhood. Beat that. <laughs> she lost too much money from all the free food. <laughs> yeah, because your mom lost so much money from giving away all of that food. Yeah, I think she was always right to do that, to kind of put that aside. Because it shows that at least one of them has priorities. Oh, and I also noticed he's in blue. Uh, 
What are they talking about? That's so interesting. That requires meat to be twirled on a stick so frivolously. Oh, he reached out to him. He reached out to him. He touched his little, little arm. Oh, oh, ew. Were they trying to, they were discussing it. Oh, they were, they were kind of, it kind of looks like they were discussing it. I think oh, ew was kind of like, I'll bless you. I'll give you a blessing. And then Ba was like, Ba. <laughs> I don't know what Baz was saying. I think Baz said, okay, then you bless me and then, you know, we can get married. <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, you child. You're about to regret that so quickly. You are about to regret that so hard. You didn't even. You are about to. I. Oh my. Let me just. Okay. The amount of just regret that he's about to have in this moment once Baz starts opening his mouth. Oh my God. If you're in a place where you cannot purchase Choho Mucho, I don't know who I feel more sorry for. You or Te in this moment. You might think that it, it's sort of comparable to an Oreo because if you look at it aesthetically, it's Oreo S. This is where the money is at. That white little center right there. It tastes like white chocolate fluff and fudge all rolled into one, which makes for the perfect combination. The cookie isn't that sweet, but it's to make up for the fact that the center is already incredibly sweet, which some would say is pretty much like the dynamic of O Eo and Te. See how I brought that all back together? See how I did that? Oh, the way Te looks at him. <laughs> um, the way the teacher looks at him. Oh my god. Aww. Yeah. Such a baby. Can he choose O L again? Oh. Oh my god. I just. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, Baz. He said that in front of everyone, there. Do you see how simple that was? I just want to talk about this scene too, and how much I appreciate how it's well done, because it's very much parallel to, to the way that they started having feelings for Oeo. And I think in this moment, there's so many things hitting him. It's the realization that his story is not unique. And it's also the realization that it could have this that could have been them. And then the third one, maybe not a realization, but more so a question of like, how can Baz just do that? How can he stand there so proudly in front of people? And not just any people, people that we know, people that know you, that you go to school with. How can you stand in front of all of them and just declare your love so nonchalantly? Like, how does that work? Because for Te, all of these things were mountains that he needed to climb. Whereas with Baz, he saw that display and it looked like he was just strolling around a park. It was the most natural thing for him. And I think that's why the scene is so hard hitting for me, at least. And it's so important. It's imperative in this character development because he's able to watch a story that parallels his but the ending is different and the way that it's executed and dealt with is different and he's able to see an alternative to the ending that he thinks is about to happen to him in his mind none of this felt like possibilities for him but then Baz without meaning to with Baz was just being himself dude Baz was just following his heart and being lovely Without even meaning to, he was able to show Te that, hey, no, you're stupid, you're wrong. I like oh, ew, and look, I just told him that. And I told him, I told him in front of the dozens of people, and it doesn't really matter because what matters is that I convey my feelings. He knows I want him to be happy, and that's it. That's about it. It's that simple. My one thing here that I still kind of see as criticism and perhaps something that is valid criticism for the show is i wish that baz was a bit more fully developed like there isn't a lot that i know about him apart from the fact that he's in love with oil and it's something that i said on my first watch it's something that i maintain to this day because at least with tarn 
she has her own individual interests that were emphasized like she likes architecture and drawing and there are other things that she like she also has like friends that are separate from the she has her own social life and we know that she's steadfast we know that she can be a bit stubborn at least there's something to her that's more fleshed out compared to Baz, who's just sort of like there. And in this last moment, he talks about how he never had any friends. He was new and then he met Al and his world changed. And that feels very two dimensional, sadly, like as much as I feel like the reason why I bring that up is because I feel like this actor has so much potential. He's adorable. And the way that he kind of wrapped himself around Baz, the character, and tried to bring that to life was a really good attempt. Like, he's lovely, and he looks so swat, and he looks genuinely, like, he has great, great kind of, like, there's a lot of potential to his chemistry with Oeo. But then none of that is really fully explored because Baz only comes around whenever it's needed for the plot. He's not necessarily there to have his own story or to be his own person, which kind of sucks on the writing side of it. I love that whole like, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to tell people how I feel about you. You know, it's kind of like, unlike some people. <laughs> Oh, just like in the beginning, when they first met. Both him and Oeo hate firecrackers, and honestly, same. Just ask. Just ask. <laughs> That's haunting. I love that. You know, like, one of my favorite things is the, the little details that kind of come together. Like, in this moment, that's all about simplicity and just listening in and trying to read between the lines. Music, because sometimes it's one of the most powerful things to just cut off a song that's playing in the background out of nowhere, just abruptly, because it, again, just kind of adds impact to a scene. As soon as he said that they started going out, just stops and it echoes out. Don't cry, don't cry. Be quiet, don't cry. Cry later, cry later, cry later, cry later, cry later, cry later, cry later. The sassy swagger. He held it in long enough. Just the right amount of time. Yeah, just the right amount of time. It's it does that really well. They kind of like play with music a lot throughout. There's also a scene on the beach where they were running around where the music stops perfectly right as I think that pushes or ew. And he's still crying. <laughs> this scene is so cute. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You can't be in here. <laughs> Aww, baby. I spent too much time crying, my poor baby. He didn't get the finish. I fudge. <laughs> what I do? Randomize! <laughs> oh. Damn boy, what a risk! Oh! Baz! 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 Baz, I love you. I'm so sorry, baby. I think this too. I wish the OL they'll get too. <laughs> I think that sometimes people forget that oh ew, just because he's more himself compared to Tev does not mean that he doesn't understand how the world works. Especially when we go back to that conversation that they had when they were floating and he was talking about keeping up appearances because on the surface he wants people to see that he is who they think he is but deep down aka when he goes underwater that's when the gayness really happens and the coral so i think sometimes we can forget that because when it comes to there he's the one openly pursuing there but i think another thing here that's like painful that you can read into or at least that i definitely read into when oh ew, was hesitant at the thought of baz like holding his hand in public we never saw that side of oh ew. he was always like who cares who cares? Let's just be together. Don't think about it too much. As long as I'm with you, like, we're gonna be okay. He was that person for that. He liked that that much that he started forgetting or at least actively tried to not think about the consequences of them being together because what weighed more heavily was at least they would be together. But with Baz, he starts thinking about it because he doesn't really like Baz 
as much. He knows that Baz is good for him. He knows that Baz is kind and deserving. And he knows that Baz is possibly the right choice. But that doesn't mean that it's going to switch off his feelings right away. Because he doesn't forget himself around Baz. Because everything that he has with Baz is when he stays afloat. Who he is underwater. That's all day. And as we've noticed from the underwater kissing scene, that shit's never ending. Except for an underage. Because <laughs> that's saying, but okay. I'll say it anyways. You don't have to. I think your friends already know. Yeah, the thing with your mom is, I think that's valid. Oh my god, yeah. You can't control what they think, they can't control who you like. You know, sometimes it just, it makes all the difference. You just need one yeah, person to one. accept you. And it, it suddenly all the other, like, as Lady Gaga once put it, all the 99 other people <laughs> no longer matter. You just need that one, one person, person in the room. You just need the Bradley Cooper. Yeah, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Un is now an honorary girly girl. He is brother girly girl. I don't think I was able to fully pay attention to the scene the first time I watched it. Kinda is a little bit too late, but we'll see. I mean, I don't think it's too late. <laughs> For Baz! For Baz, we're kind of... Okay. I'm sorry, Baz. Oh, this is the Chinese New Year thing. I thought that they would go just them, but they really did go with everyone. Well, I guess there's like a charm to this too, because it's everyone and their dates, and him and his date, and it's the friends accepting him. Oh, the one-handed clap so that they could keep holding hands. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Oh, they played the song. They played the theme song to Yong Jang. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. I want the piano version of the entire OST, if I'm being honest. Like, it's it's haunting. Me too. Me too. Oh, El. Oh, El, here, please take it. That comes out and see. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you're> <laughs> he looks great. Honestly, there. This is one of your better shirts. Should I do a video just rating his shirt? His shirts. Should I just do a video just rating their shirts? Cause this is the ten out of ten. I think the hibiscus red blue one. That one's like. I would give that an eight, an eight out of ten. But this on him. This is phenomenal on him. Oh my god. Maybe he's been crying since episode four. Drink some water at least. Hydrate, Are you baby. Hydrated? Okay, you're about to tear through that. You need to calm down, sir. Oh my god, the dog's here. Hi, doggo. Everyone here just has iPads. Everyone here just has, like, tablets at a time. They all live together. He's so cute. He doesn't have parents. Matt doesn't have parents. What is this? What is this like? You no know one. What is this bullshit? He has a Wi Fi there? Yeah, he is. Oh, oh, good, good for you. you. Oh, she lives there. Yeah, she lives there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, the, that's their front lawn. How did they film this too? Is this just like a section of the restaurant that they, they quartered off? <laughs> they didn't have a place. They didn't give him a house. They didn't give him parents. Didn't cast anyone. They were just like, no, 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 Bats. You will live under the staircase. <laughs> you did it. You did so well. Now you get to run 18 kilometers all the way to the fucking cape. Is that the staff? <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm wearing the outfit for to be a staff member anyways. I think he's still hoping that they got into the same school. <laughs> that sound effect, that bass sound effect, that one sounds almost identical to the one I use. <laughs> I edited this this entire show, it confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, but other universities don't have 
Oh, ew. <laughs> this is also a metaphor for whoever you fall in love with should love. Where's the dog? Tutti? Oh, he already got the uniform too. Well, that's okay. That's gonna come in handy because he has this very weird habit of sneaking into schools that he doesn't belong to. So maybe that uniform will come in handy one day. Don't, don't snap at him. Don't snap. Okay. I saw one edit, because I know that there are a couple of edits that are like this, but I saw one of them. It was an edit about Baz and falling in love with Oeo, but then it's unrequited. And the song that plays over it is Baubaya by Moila de, de la Torre. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of those edits, but I highly, I don't know. I would recommend, yeah, for a good cry, that you just search that on YouTube. Just search Baz Baubaya. And just cry with me. Uh, but not without buying Choco Mucho. It's imperative that you do. But also, because of seeing those edits now, every time I see Baz, every time I see him, I just want to go, Atko Masaya That's a niya Way to make him feel special, Oyo? Ako Akasama Oh no, no. Is he gonna go to the noodle place? No, get me this time. Is he gonna go to the noodle place? I think he's going Please. to the noodle place. Pinapa Ubaya. Oh my god! Oh my god! Baz! I hope Baz is in season two. He wasn't in the poster of the official cast, but god, I want him to be there. He deserves justice. <laughs> I don't want to get to over, Baz! This is right, bro. Like, all he was was heartbreak. These night shots of the city are so beautiful. <laughs> I think I just fell in love with Fuket. The dip in that couch. Oh, I was wearing that shirt. Which is, I've found out, merch of the show. But also, the same shirt Oh, Eo wore? That night? You remember the night? The night when the Fire Nation exploded. <laughs> Thank you, Tarn! You're the best girly girl! It's the kind of girly girls we need in this world. And finally, we can refresh the memory on that carpet. That's really nice of her. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank god. Thank god he said that. That's when she decided to back off. the hibiscus <laughs> she put herself in half of him she put herself in his heart and this might be like really extra and something that doesn't need to be talked about but i also kind of like the fact that you can see them repeating the same clothes because realistically not all of us have like a ton of clothes to wear throughout the time and also they're kids they're young don't really care it's fun it's cute it's amazing this is only five episodes but i feel like i went through an entire lifetime with them it's just the right amount of lifetime not too much of a lifetime just like average lifetime you know what i mean you know what i mean this shot is beautiful it's so satisfying symmetrical and the squares and the colors and how centered that desk is it's like i think one of the things that i like the most about it say is how tight <laughs> and how wonderfully framed a lot of the shots are. It's almost as if when you look at each shot that they do, it looks like they intended for each of it to look like an Instagram post, you know what I mean? There are so many shots from this show that if you were to just take them without context, without any of the characters there, just like the life of Phuket, it's just so satisfying to look at. I think there's like a great balance of how they dress these shots color-wise and also prop-wise. I don't know. I don't know how else to like talk about the composition of shots. First of all, because I'm I have no idea how <laughs> the technicalities are of it. I really am just like a viewer having the best time. Oh, and you know what too? I also think that I don't know if I'm right in this because I'm just remembering one other scene in comp in comparison to this one, but you know how Te has a tendency to say things all the time and never follow through? 
that's like the very basis of his being, right? He promised his friends that he'd make them flashcards and then eventually backed out of it and waved it off like it was nothing. What? You depended on me because I made a promise? <laughs> that's stupid of you. Like that's then a nutshell. That's my then impression. He also made a bunch of promises to Tarn made promises to his mother all of this when he failed them all the one promise that he did go through with was the one that he kept with oh and that was to run to sunset to scream about each other and i think that's that's i mean you know what i think about it <laughs> This is mother girly girl. She will accept you throughout thick, throughout thin, throughout straight, and throughout gay. She's got you. What do you mean? She is Debbie. From Queer's Folk. Oh, he started with his left foot. Did you see? He started with his left. Oh, I love that. He remembered. Oh, oh, it's in bed! I can give you a ride. Look at all the coconuts. <laughs> And once again, he did not see Oe running there. He smelled him. He followed the scent of coconuts. Also, I think I said this the first time I watched this. Like, why would you add more weight to his bag? It's gonna get heavy. <laughs> I know. He's just making it worse. Also, how is he gonna open it? He doesn't have a machete. Like, if you're gonna be adding that much, like, the coconuts are heavy. Why didn't you carry the bag? Oh, they look so good together. What is this? This shot. Oh my god. Rude. <laughs> Gross. Oh, the little stops along the way. They're running through the spots that are sacred, are they? This is the Kurosawa Adachi practice date, is what they did in episode 3. Now they're both in the sunlight, because there was a shot before when they did this in episode 3. They was in the shadows, and Oeo was in the sunlight. Every single shot, every single frame, um, and scene means something and contributes to the story, does service to the story, and I think that it's little things like that about Itsei that's very respectable. And something I like to watch. It makes the show very rewatchable, which from a marketing standpoint and from a storytelling standpoint, it's very smart when every little thing counts. Obviously, not all of these things will be consumed by the viewer on the first watch. And that's why it calls for a rewatch. It's one of those shows that you have to watch over and over again because every single time you do, you catch something that wasn't there the first or second time around. The tip or nothing, dude. I didn't realize how far that was until they started running to it. And I was like, oh shit. Oh, it's giving him so many memories. Remember that time that you translated the intro to that Yongjun song for me here? That we fell in love, that we went back to yours, and it rubbed up on each other? Remember that thing? <laughs> a time for us. <laughs> also, honestly, filming this could not have been easy. Like, the cast and the crew all have to walk down there, set up, and then the castmates have to walk up, then walk back down. Like, holy shit, this was a, a bitch to film, probably. But... Also probably a lot of fun, because my god, look at this place. Oh, they made it out of the shadows. Because remember like in the past episodes, whenever they'd be intimate or doing something that is kind of sus, they'd always do it under the staircase, under the shades of the leaves, in the darkness, and you know, around dawn where no one can see them. And that was almost like them walking out of the tunnel and to the eyes of everyone, even though there's no one here. That shot! Oh my god. That is PH care in the background. Don't. Oh. 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 <laughs> Welcome to my channel, the channel where I make inhuman noises at breathtaking shots. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no one could take that from you. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. You're both single. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that little. Mm. 
Oh. Goes to a different school. <laughs> oh, college AU. Let's go. This is episode three. I just want to watch. Not that part. Not that part. Not that part. Just this part. I don't know. I'm in a whole mood right now. I just love this day. And says back was flooding like it was no to borrow but just on the left side because that's the lucky side that's the side of the back that works the hardest he's just standing there like notice me notice me notice me senpai notice me notice hello <laughs> i miss this i miss who i was when i watched this part and already there was this push and pull energy so flirtatious Disgusting, and it's so new. But they're old friends. Ew! Then he eventually caught up to him because if you think about it, oh, it wasn't really running. Oh. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> you know, now every time he says tutoring, just like okay. Think about this in your minds. Whenever you rewatch this, every time he brings up tutoring, replace it with make out. And you will realize that he brings in up, he brings it up in opportunities that best fit asking for a make out session instead of tutoring. Because really what he means is like, don't you want to cuddle? Do you want to make out? Do you want to touch? Do you want to do sus activities? That's what tutoring is. It's code. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does not know how to react. Gate panics, malfunctions. Not really sure how to deal with that. He's like, um, excuse me, coconut flesh. I'm gonna grab your non boobs later tonight. I swear to God, you. <laughs> I love that little reaction afterwards. That's <laughs> like, mm hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, not bad. That was a good line. That was a good line. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it makes sense that he would start from his house. Because that's where his dream began. So if he were to run right from Tez's house all the way to... What's it called? Prometh Cape? Yeah, Prom... Pr oh, Prometh. Prometh Cape. It, it would mean that he'd be running from... The place where his dream began so that's where it all started and that this is how it's doing <laughs> oh my god i just thought about bass okay this was the shot I was talking about earlier. And it's so deliberate too, because in this first shot, you don't really see that there's an unevenness when it comes to light. So I think it was pretty purposeful when they did a wide shot of the two of them side by side. There, you'll notice, see, the, t the time is different, and the, s the way that the sun is is different now. And here too, it's a perfect demonstration of this shot. But back here, it's different. Which I think kind of convinces me too that maybe this particular scene was shot on two different occasions just so they could get the lighting right because that doesn't look like it was corrected in post so starkly different here because here the sun doesn't look like it's at its highest such a coupley guy such a boyfriend imagine posting a thing just for one person but posting it to like ninety thousand people and not giving a fuck they're in love you're 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 a really shit tutor, though. <laughs> Just leaving your student hanging like that. Imagine having someone that you're in love with and they look up to you like that. And like, what sucks is that knowing now how little, in comparison, they have believed in Oeo's capabilities. I know that's not the full intention of it. Clearly, he just wants to make Oeo happy, but at the same time, without meaning to, he makes Oeo look so helpless. 
So I'm glad that Oh Eo in the end was able to prove they're wrong and be like, I don't need your help. <laughs> like, I actually did find my dream and, and I can do something that's separate of you. He's so cute. Oh Eo, you're so cute. Okay, this shirt of Thez, I'm sorry, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, but it's a nice, cute fit. It's loose, it's chill, it looks comfortable. Color's a bit bland. Year, like years after, it feels like. But really, it's only been weeks. Am I ready for this scene again? This is probably, to me, somewhat sexier than when they were on the carpet doing the sus activities. Like, this is the sussest activity. Just sliding down like that. Oh my god, here we are again. I'm stuck in the loop. Can't even see his face. It's all body. Like, the fuck? And then suddenly he's down on his knees. <sighs> and then baby Te here thinks that, oh, he just wants some of the chips. But really, no. He doesn't care about the chips. The chips can fall where they may. He wants some of that good, good, bitch. He wants that 9 out of 10 shirt. Oh, I mean 7. Suddenly he's there. He has a book that he pulled out of nowhere. He's just reading and chilling there. What the fuck is this? Also, this scene, very important. Look at this. Looking at each other. They're all swaffed. He's still wearing the same shirt. They have Jesus and three holy spirits between them. And then he goes, tutoring. Do you want me to make out with you? Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? This is the, the scene on the beach that I was talking about. Because the music keeps playing. And the way that it abruptly ends the moment that they're walking on the beach and that pushes oh, it was really well timed and adorable it's right here cute i know this much is true Ooh. well then I see your gayness, and I raise your gayness with some extra gay. <laughs> That's what he did. Also something that I'm not sure if I pointed out before, in this scene in particular. If you look at a wide shot of this, you'll see that compared, comparing both boys and how they are in the hammock, all of O'eo is in the hammock, as if to say, he's all in. Whereas with Te, there's part of his body that's not all completely in there signifying that you know there's still a part of him that's unsure which we found out after watching the entire series or at least all of season one that that is the case you'll see their positions there you'll see oh it was completely he's all in all in oh my god i miss stray kids i miss hyunjin hyunjin ah this isn't about you but i miss you just kidding, everything is about Hyunjin. This is one of my favorite confession scenes that I've watched ever. Because the fact that none of them had to ever say anything outright, apart from the very end, of course, but for the entirety of the show, the way that none of them said anything outright, the way that both of them just kind of knew what the other was feeling and saying without having to say it really is such a testament to how connected they are, how connected they were when they were kids, and how connected they still are now that they've reconciled their differences. It really also goes to show the kind of effort that each of them put into this relationship, and how even though some of them, even though their intentions were good, and it didn't work out, the other part of the- I'm just gonna be outright with it- the way that O'Eo handled this was exceptionally good like he did the best that he he could with the circumstances that he was given to really try and give it his all like i think from the very beginning when he realized how he was feeling when he realized how there was feeling about him he didn't really hold back and for someone his age for someone you know with also with a lot to lose he really loves that to the degree, and he showed it so well, to the degree where he didn't really care about all of that stuff. It was white noise. What mattered to him most was to get his feelings across. Not just that he was in love with Te, but also that he is so deeply affected by everything that Te does. And all of his actions now are determined by what it is 
that there's feeling like he really was able to convey that and that's why i love about oeo so much he's so transparent and earnest and out there which is a rarity it's a rare thing to see that not just in characters but like in people in general like he's such an honest person i've talked on and on about that whether it's to try to identify with his character understand his character or defend him in some shape or form defend him in a way that i'm not being too unreasonable right because we can't ignore the fact that they mishandled so much of this but also i can't help but empathize with him it's easy to empathize with that i feel like because he also really tried like you can tell that he's not trying to be malicious his intentions were always very good in everything that he did even though the things that he did weren't exactly the best during those moments because oh it didn't do anything grandiose you know, he didn't give up a spot in his college exams. Maybe if if you look at it from afar, it looks like very small things, but accumulated. It's all of these little things that make him so true to himself and so lovable. Anyway, guys, I think I've babbled on for much, much too long. My point is I really, really enjoyed this, this series. I want to say that this is one of my favorite things that I've watched of 2021 and my favorite thing that I've watched ever, like of any love story. This is really cute. It's one, it's definitely one of my favorites, definitely one of the greats, and I highly, highly recommend it. I don't know who hasn't seen this yet that has watched all of my reactions up until this point, but I don't know, in case you haven't, in case you've just been watching me react to the show and haven't actually seen the show, I highly implore that you please watch the show in its entirety and see all of season two because I'm excited to see it also. I want to say that my favorite episode of the entire series is probably episode three for reasons, but definitely when I saw the pilot, it easily became one of my favorite pilots that I've ever seen because it's it wraps up so beautifully. Even if, let's say, that pilot in and of itself was just a movie i would have accepted that i would have been happy and i know i'd said that before i would have been happy to have just seen that and would have been satisfied because it came together like full circle so well it was such a hopeful wonderful episode and the fact that it expanded into an entire season of five episodes is more than i could ever ask for the fact that there is a season two i said in the beginning i'm gonna say it again please do not stop recommending shows to me this is the reason why I found out about it, say, is because it was recommended to me and, you know, I'm I'm definitely, I'm very open to, like, discovering new shows and having my mind blown because of your guys' recommendations. If, if you want to hear my thoughts on it, definitely, you know, I'll always be honest. In any case, uh, like, subscribe, comment down below for more. You can follow me on all my social media. Talk to me about stuff. I respond I'm very, or at least I try to be pretty active on all my other platforms. And um, if you want to see extra content, an extended version perhaps, um, I think what I'm going to do is also post um, a full version of my first reaction. Like I'm going to post that as like extra for members. So if that's something that you're interested in, like just extra content like that and early access to videos like 24 hours sometimes in advance then go ahead and hit that join button in order to join the channel and the nipple nation i highly appreciate it and all of your guys' support here are some wise words okay if you ever make it to thailand i've been once but i just stayed in bangkok i ne i'd never been to phuket but if you do get there and i want to go there too like can you have the oeo dessert and just take the instagram photo like that the same thing just do that because <laughs> I plan to do that someday, you know, whenever when the dust has settled. Like an echo in the echo of the egg. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Reel it back in. I think it was in episode three or somewhere that I said that once there came out that I would sing him a song. I have a song for him. Oh my God, there, have you come out? I have a coming out song for you. When you come out, um, I have a song that I'm going to play for you, okay? I promise it will be a, a kind of a, it will be an okay one. This might be a bit cringy. I had to dig this out of my bisexual starter pack. I don't think these are the chords, but we're gonna make do. Uh, yeah, this is for there for newly coming out, and for anyone else out there, all the baby queers that have just come out, this song is for you, my little girly girls. Well, <laughs> how did... Welcome to the LGBTQ. I hope you like it here, my little newborn queer. Have all the fun, all the gay fun you want. So 
something, something. I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Original songs are not my thing. I tried. Okay? Like an echo in the echo of the echo in my echo of the echo.